my Twitch peeps. I love you guys so much. So much. But, guys, I'm going to be 100% honest. I've been going through it. Low-key Rara just went through it. Bro, I'm not even doing nothing to people, bro. I ain't even doing nothing to people, bro. But people just want to try to hurt you, bro. This life has gotten insane. I'm literally going to tell you guys a story. Bro, I, I was, yesterday I was at an open mic, bro, and I met somebody who wanted who went to Japan. And he was just telling me, he was like, yeah, it changed my life, this and that. And I was planning on going to Japan. Hi, my one viewer. So when I heard that he went to Japan, I was like, wow, somebody who really did it, and they're telling me and explaining to me it changed their life. He made me feel like I wanted to go to Japan again. So I was just like, and then I asked him, I was like, what's your family and friends say? He's like, they're never going to support that type of dream. But it's just good to like follow and pursue it anyways. I'm going to be honest. I needed to tell my family that I was planning on doing that. Because one, God wanted me see, God wanted me to see how they would act. And two, bro, people should, you should know what your freaking son is planning on doing it with his life, I feel like. But God's showing me sometimes maybe you got to love people from a distance. That's what this whole video is about. Fast forward, I call my mom. I tell her I'm going to Japan. She starts cursing me out. People start cursing me out over a dream that I have. Telling me this, that. Telling me I'm dumb. Telling me just screaming on the phone. Saying nothing works for you. Nothing works. Bro, and that's what people will do. Because in their mind, I'm already on Mars. Coming to Europe and London and doing the things I've done, that was already impossible. And they're still wrapping their head around that, saying, all right, he's doing this and that in Europe. It's hard to believe, but yes, it's a reality. Now I'm telling them I want to go to Jupiter. I'm telling them I want to go to Japan now and make it. That just hit them, bro. And then, like, I was on the phone with my friend, and he explained to me, bro. He was like, bro... When, when they hear about them big dreams you have, bro, it feels like you're telling them that, oh, I'm better than you. I can accomplish my dream. And then they feel like they can't. It's weird, bro. When you tell somebody of a big dream and you truly believe you can do it, they take that. They take offense to that, bro. They feel like, what? You think you can do your dream and I can't? Even though it's not like that. You're literally just sharing with something with somebody you love. People don't see that. They think it's like, oh, this motherfucker think he can do that? Why? I can't even do that. Fuck you. Fuck you. You think you're perfect? You think you're so good? Bro, that's literally how people think. And it's like, bro, ain't nobody think they're too good, bro. We're just literally being ourselves, bro. Don't nobody think they're too good. Fast forward, bro. Then I call my grandfather, called me. Bro. Because every time I tell somebody, bro, about my dream, bro, everybody else starts to know. So I told my mom, she cursed me out, bro. And then she went, she went to my family, bro. She went to my, uh, to my grandfather, bro. And what did she tell him? Straight up, straight up told him that I was crazy. That like, I'm just trying to do crazy stuff, getting angry and upset. Then my grandfather calls me up, guys saying I have a mental illness and I'm delusional for wanting to go to Japan. Bro, that's how you know your dream is very good, bro, and you're about to do something crazy. When people start saying you're delusional, crazy, have a mental illness, that's how you know you're on to something, guys. And it hurts, bro. Bro, they called Steve Jobs crazy. They called every Kanye crazy. They called everybody with an amazing dream and a vision crazy, bro. You gotta get used to that, bro. It's ridiculous. Ain't nobody gonna freaking believe in you, bro. They just gonna call you crazy. Ain't nobody gonna support you. Ain't nobody gonna try, try to help you get there. They're just gonna say, you're delusional. You're crazy. You think this and that. Why do you think you can do this? Why? Nobody understands why you think, like, you can freaking accomplish your dreams and goals. Because in their life, they never thought that. So, so they're like, why does he think he can do that? It's crazy, bro. Hey.
at the end of the day, bro, people got to be themselves. If somebody's not going to believe in your dream, let that be on them, guys. Let that be on them. Believe in yourself and believe in your dream, bro. Ain't nobody going to do it for you. And when, don't think don't think you can tell people your dream, bro. Don't think people are going to be happy when you tell them about your crazy-ass dream, bro. Imagine, like, what, 100 years ago telling people we'd be on Mars and we'd be on the moon. Everybody would say you're crazy. You're crazy. You're crazy. Why are you talking like that, bro? Why are you talking like that? <laughs> that's how it feels when you tell people a dream that's never been done. So you have to learn how to like, how to be okay with people not knowing and not getting your full support, bro. But understand too, from your family's perspective inside of it, it's coming from a place of love. They do love you and they want you to be okay. And that's why they may try to kill your dream. But also guys realize at the end of the day, how much longer can you keep getting hurt and allowing people to say negative stuff to you, bro? I don't care who it is. You should not have to listen to that and you don't need to. So that's why I need to love people from a distance. It don't matter who it is, bro, family, friends, anybody. If they're constantly hurting you, saying negative stuff to you and putting you down, love them from a distance. You don't need to keep involving yourself with them just because. Just because you feel like it and your heart may feel like it. Take action, take initiative, bro, and protect yourself. If they're not going to care for your heart and care about your well-being and your heart space, bro, you don't, they don't deserve to be in that space. And they have to realize that. And yes, they're going to try to apologize. Yes, they're going to say, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. It's coming from good intentions. But bro, people show you who they are. Don't go by their words. Go by their actions, bro. And guess what? If they stab one knife in your heart and then you just open up and say, all right, I forgive you. They're going to stab another one and another one till it's over, bro. One stab in the heart, bro. Turn around and get away, bro. It's a viper, bro. It's envy is a viper, bro. Once it bites, bro, you better leave because if you keep going back, it's going to bite you till you're dead. That is how envy is, bro. Don't underestimate the power of envy, bro. And it, bro, it just comes out so weirdly, bro. I, all, I had that feeling, bro, that, like, they didn't want to see me do this and that. And then I just come up to them and tell them I'm going to Japan. Them niggas is tight. They were tight, bro. They were pissed. They did not want to hear that. Bro, I'm already doing the impossible. And now I'm telling them I want to go higher. It's like that clip of D-Rose dunking on that guy. And he's like, I want to go higher. <laughs> I do want to go higher. I'm sorry. I do. I want to go higher than Europe and London. I'm ready for Asia. I'm about to take over Asia and nobody wants that. Ain't nobody want to see me make it in a, a young black man make it in Asia. That's the, that is the impossible. That's the impossible and we going to do it. We gearing up for that. Bro, this life is amazing, bro. If you got a dream, do it, bro. If your family wants you to go to college and do other stuff that you don't believe is going to benefit you, I'd say for, forget that. Because at the end of the day, realize one thing, guys. When your family members are dead and it's all said and done and you look in the mirror, do you want to say, I did what I wanted to do with my life or I did what they wanted to do? Because when they're dead and gone, bro, that's when... Bro, you're going to have to start doing stuff for you only. So start now, bro. Start now. Don't do stuff to please other people. Because you're not going to please yourself, bro. And a lady yesterday, I was, I was at the open mic. She just told me. She was like, yes, I get it. You don't want to. You have to be your full self. Because sometimes, me included, we don't want to be our full selves because we know we'll create jealousy, animosity. And people won't like it to see us shine. But she, she made a great point. Not everybody's gonna like you. Just, you're gonna lose more sleep trying to censor yourself. Just be yourself, bro. And if people don't like it, F them. Cause you gotta be your full self and your full potential, bro. But also there's another side to that, guys. Cause if you want help in this world and you want to keep moving up in this world and like evolving and gaining help, you do need to understand, bro. 
if you keep flashing everything you're good at and everything you do on to people and, and making them witness it and see it, bro, of course they're gonna grow jealous and animos animosity is gonna come up. You can't just blatantly sit throwing in people's face, showing them every day, I'm successful, I'm beautiful, I'm healthy, I'm this, I'm that. Bro, they're not gonna wanna help you. People wanna help people who need help, who are low. So you need to play that game of appearances, bro. Yes, you can be healthy, successful, rich, beautiful, all of that. But on the appearance, bro, you need to appear like you're just like them, if not lower. That is how they'll want to help you. And that is a secret, bro. That's a secret to actually keep evolving in life and in this world, bro. Everything ain't just going to be about fucking showing everybody, oh, I'm great, oh, I'm this, oh, I'm that. That's not how you get ahead in life. You get ahead by learning how to get help. Because everybody needs help, bro. And don't, bro, a lot of people, they aren't who they say they are. They are not who they say they are. So always keep your eye out, bro, for these new people and all these people around you. Be an observer. Don't always be somebody who just blink, blindly trusts people. Be an observer and keep watching their actions. Forget their words. Forget their smile. Let's see their actions, guys. Wow, that was some beautiful stuff we were just talking about, guys. I'm honestly grateful we just had that combo. <laughs> My one viewer in the cut. Bro, this life is madness, bro. Madness. It's not easy to do, to live your dream out. Everybody knows that. That's why they want to make sure you don't. They don't want to see people, bro. I, I had to read that shit again, bro. To be young, healthy, comparatively rich, beautiful, and the last one that kills them the most, happy. That, bro, they said that goes against nature. Bro, ain't no, bro, a lot of people are young, healthy, this, that, young, rich, whatever, but they're not happy. Happiness? Bro, you cannot put a price on that. To be happy, you need to be truly happy with who you are and what you're doing every day. And a lot of people aren't. So when they come around seeing somebody who is, who's, who's working off of love, who's doing what they love every day, bro, it kills them. And they're succeeding? Come on, bro. That's real life, bro. Don't think people are going to want to see your skin glow, bro. They, you think they're going to want to see my skin glowing in their face all day and me being happy with my nice smile and then seeing that I have millions of people watching me and then fucking see that I'm healthy as fuck, bro? Why the fuck? And then see that I'm fucking living in London City by myself? You th thanks to God? See that you're connected to God? And that you have control over your sexual urges? Why would people want to see that, bro? People, want to, people don't want to see that because it makes them feel inferior, bro. When you show how good you are to people all day, every day, it makes them feel inferior. Remember that. And they're going to want to put obstacles in your path and block you from winning. Be yourself, show your talents, but learn when and where's the right place. When and where's the right place, guys. It's not always the time and place to freaking go all out and say, I'm this, I'm that. But sometimes it is. Pick your battles wisely. That's all I can say. My one viewer, I love you for being here in the cut. Loving me, giving me love. Bro, I got an important day today, bro. I'm about to go see people's true colors. I'm observing today. I am not freaking like, I'm not just blindly trusting people and blindly doing what people say. I'm observing. I'm sitting back and observing how people treat other people, how they treat me, how they, how they treat themselves. That's how you truly gain. I love you guys. I think I gotta go. Enjoy the day, guys. Thank you, one viewer, for always being here. I love you.